Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. to treat us like this. And the doctor? What did he say? He laughed. My God. She will do it again, you know? Who? The girl doctor. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. The miraculous catch, apparently the most significant event of the last 80 years. to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. You like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. 
I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill, we're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see! It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had the wing of the What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hide. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink. Stranger, I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. Something common. Something real big. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in.
Damnation, I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. It's no use. The padlock won't give. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Come on, you would tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your house. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut.
How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Prove that you really know, Cat. Well, I've rarely seen anyone who can hold their liquor as well as her. Everyone knows that. That just proves that you've seen her in the bar, not that you know her. Go on, beat it. We've seen enough of you. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Cap. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad.
A handle. It must come from these old winches. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
This is primitive. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages?
can't sleep. I know how that feels. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. 
We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. 
right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Sturdy. And well sharpened. Sturdy. And well sharpened. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Poor kid. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Is the caretaker still around? Evidence here suggests he is. It's surprising indeed. Let's try to keep our eyes open.
Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is a The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. 